Hi, hello. Today I have a quite not as dramatic, if I can say that, as my normal like colourful looks. This is more of like a toned down look. I'm using the P. Louise Secret Sinner eyeshadow palette and a few of her other products. And I'm just having a look and a play with the shadows because it's my first time using that palette. I'm quite late on the hype with that palette but I have it now and yeah I was waiting for like a discount and I got it 20% off so yeah. If you want to see more looks like this from me please make sure to subscribe to my channel we make quite creative looks on this channel and yeah if you like this look then please give it a thumbs up as well and if you want to see how I created this look and what I think of the palette then keep on watching. Okay so I'm in my lounge shirt I'm ready to make some makeup. Okay, so I'm using the P. Louise palette for the first time. I have done this eye as per usual. I do one eye. I do normally do one eye first just to get a glimpse of what I want to do. So this is the Secret Sinner palette. It comes in a nice sleek box, but I just took it out. It is quite bulky. So if you don't like bulky palettes, then this is not for you. This is not for someone who travels a lot, just bear that in mind. It is a nice sleek palette and it is quite heavy. So again, not very good for travel. I like the feathers in the clear window. And then it isn't magnetic, I don't think. It's just, actually it might be just cardboard and then it comes with a big mirror and then of course you have your shadows so I am quite late on the game with this I have it now so yeah it has quite a nice mirror it looks kind of magnetized really nice shades if you want to see like swatches I did put them on my story on Instagram so go check my Instagram which is linked down below it's in my highlights folder of like swatches so go check that out. So yeah, I have like a simple look for today. Um, I'm gonna say simple with a grain of salt. Um, I have been doing very like dramatic, colorful looks, but today I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. If you can't tell, I, ha I have got a cold. So first I'm gonna get some tape and I'm gonna put that on the outer part, just like so. And of course I'm going to be using the P. Louise base, of course. This is the Rumour Zero, which is the white shade. I'm going to carve out my eyebrows first. I'm gonna take the bright kind of like peachy orangey shade it's called bow down so it's the top one here it's not very like sturdy it keeps falling like it's so easy to fall but whatever I'm gonna put this in my crease I'm gonna pat first Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with the more, see what I mean? Now I'm gonna go in with, oh my god, I might just put it on the screen. I'm gonna get a photo of the you know, palette and then put it on the screen. I'm gonna take Dreamy, which is more like orangey shade, like a true orange. I'm sorry if I'm not very talkative in this video. I'm not very talkative anyway, if I'm completely honest. Um, but I do have a cold, so that's probably why them shades blend really nicely together which is lovely and then next i'm going to take climax which is the 
yellow shade and I'm going to place that again right above that orange shade. Can we ever be? That all depends on what you're feeling from me. Show you all the way. And then next I'm going to take Love Struck, which is the darkest brown in the, in the palette. And I'm going to put that in the crease and really build up this dark brown. Let me show you all the way. Okay, so that is it for there. Now I'm going to go on to the cut crease. So I'm going to just cut my crease with P. Louise base and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to take that darker brown and just blend that in with the outer corner and the base we just put down. And then I'm going to take the Peaches and Cream pig one in the shade Gatsby, which is a nice gold shade. Just going to take that on a really small brush and I'm going to pat that onto the part where we cut the crease. Let me show you all the ways. Oh, oh, let me show you all the ways. Yeah, let me show you all the ways. Oh. Okay, so now I'm just going to line my lash line with a black liquid liner. This is just one from Soap and Glory. Okay, so now I'm going to take this sellotape off. And I'm also going to clean up under my eyes. Okay, so next is the base. So as my skin has been very dry, it is very, very dry. I'm going to take the Nivea, what's this called? 24 hour moisture and express primer, it, which is a gel cream. It's very, very nice and hydrating. I love this for my dry skin. You don't need too much unless you have very dry skin. It has got a strong scent to it, but I really like it. But it depends if you like scents or not. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to take the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 10 Ivory. I'm just going to go in with a sponge. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Joard Cosmetics Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I'm not sure if I've already used this or not. It was in my not used need to try out drawer. Um, it's in the shade Snow. It says creaseless soft matte hyaluronic acid. It's quite a big tube. It is 4.14 mils. It's quite a cool tone shade. Very light. <laughs> Which is kind of what I need 
at the moment because this foundation is a little bit too dark for my skin tone at the moment. I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge. So I'm going to set that in place with the RCME No Colour Powder. And then for the rest of my face I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 05 Silky Beige. And I'm not going to bake under my eyes just because I'm not a fan of that these days because my skin is quite dry. Okay, so for bronzer I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay... no, what is it called? Rimmel Waterproof Bronzing Powder. It's just the natural bronzer. I'm just going to use that on a big fluffy brush. Not really concentrating it on anywhere in particular. So for blush, I'm going to take the NYX HD blushes and I'm going to take the shade. I'm going to take the shade Down to Earth, which is this shade here, which is quite a orangey shade, which I want. I actually haven't got a setting spray on me. Now that is a problem. Oh well. So the highlighter I'm going to go in with is the Revolution and Soph Highlighter Palette, which I'm absolutely loving these days. I'm going to take the two lighter shades, these two, and pop that on the high lights of my face. Okay, so that is the base done. I'm going to go off camera, do my eyebrows, put on lashes, and I'll be back to do the lips and the lower lash line. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows and my lashes. I used the Tati lashes in TL Mitchell, of course. A very dramatic, very bold. Hopefully they stay on. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to jump back in to the palette. And I'm going to first take the bright orange shade. And I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Dreamy, which is the second orange shade, and place that just directly on top. And then I'm going to go into the yellow and smoke that out even more. And then right up close to the lashes, I'm going to put Love Struck, which is the deep, the dark brown. And make sure to join that to the upper corner. So that's all I'm going to do for that. For the inner corner, they don't have any shimmer shades in that palette. So I'm just going to jump into the highlight palette and take the lightest shade. And I'm going to add some mascara. Okay, so then for lips, I have the MAC lip liner in the shade Will. And then of course I'm going to go in with the P. Louise Holla Lip Gloss. I believe there's only one shade but I absolutely love the shade. want a nude lip gloss okay so that is everything for this look i really hope you enjoyed it 
please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you have any of the P. Louise products, even the base I love. Yeah, let me know if you like any of the products. I did like the eyeshadow palette. It's very pigmented and blended really nicely as well. The lip gloss is nice as well. Getting it on my teeth. It's not sticky at all. It's not very pigmented, but it's a nice sheen on top. I love you to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Too soon to act on it. Can we ever be? That all depends on what you're feeling from the show.